Hey everyone, I'm Noah, creator of Blackthorn Prod, and this is my first Q&A video made to celebrate and thank you for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm just so motivated to bring this channel to the next level. With that said, let's answer some of your questions. So first of all, I was asked if I am planning on making 2D game art tutorials using Photoshop. The answer to that is definitely yes. For example, in the near future, I am planning on making a video covering the process I went through when making the art for the fire of belief. But many more videos on the topic will follow this one, from how to make 2D game characters and animate them using Photoshop and Unity, to tips to keep in mind when striving to become a better developer and artist. People also propose that I set up the Blackthorn Crow Discord server, a cool place where people from this small yet growing community can chat and where I can notify you of any new games or videos recently released. The link to that server is in the description and all you need to do is click on it and you'll be granted immediate access. Next up, I was asked if I have any cool new game ideas in mind that I'm excited to begin work on. I do indeed have plenty of ideas I'm hungry to bring to life. I even prototyped this quirky looking game featuring a stick man whose joints can be moved around as well as a rather fun reflex based game where you must avoid your past selves. But I don't feel as if these concepts are going very far. Of course those were just two weird ideas out of many more I'm excited to try out. One thing is for sure, my next game will not feature shooting as the main mechanic, since I've had my dose of blasting at enemies with the fire of belief. Do you plan on making another devlog? Of course. As soon as I have a prototype that I feel is worth exploring further and actually developing into a full-fledged game, then you can expect a detailed and weekly behind-the-scenes devlog on the creation process of that game. Alright, coming up next, how did I get into making games? Starting and finishing my very first game was tough. Until October 2016, month where I brought to life my first game, Midnight Fire, with my brother Liam, I struggled staying motivated throughout a project. But as soon as I actually finished a game, I was hooked, determined to make many more. Leading up to that entry into the world of game creation, I spent roughly one year playing around in a casual way with Autodesk Maya, learning how to model in 3D, as well as drew a lot in Photoshop. Though coding and learning Unity felt at the time very daunting, and was initially a huge struggle, by making games Unity slowly became a comfortable home in which to this day I have a great time building worlds and growing as a developer. Alright, here's a last question. Who makes better games, me or my brother Liam? Well, I think we both have a lot of potential when it comes to game creation. We also have both have our strengths and weaknesses. Me tending more to be an artist and designer and him being more of a game programmer. I, however, have made many more games than my brother and as a result I am more experienced and have collected a bigger passion for the craft of game creation. But of course nothing stops my brother Liam from making the next Minecraft or Undertale and winning the friendly brother vs brother game dev war. Alright, with that I will wrap up the video. Once again, thanks so much for watching and supporting me and my channel. Every single like, subscription, and comment are so appreciated. As I've said before, I'm just so excited to bring this channel to the next level. So stay tuned and I'll see you very soon for more awesome game creation content. Cheers!